what's up everybody happy thanksgiving thank you guys for being here and watching the videos uh this video is just going to be a short one just to say happy thanksgiving to you guys uh i'm not going to let the game today like ruin my mood or whatever today i started i woke up and started drinking some uh because this is one of the first times uh i spent uh my thanksgiving without uh being with my family uh besides when i was in the military obviously i wasn't around then as well but uh, my, my family went away, uh, somewhere to be with more family. And, uh, today I woke up and I was like, well, you know, uh, I think we all knew how the game was going to kind of go. Right. And it kind of went that way. I could have seen the commanders being somewhat competitive at the very beginning of the game. And then once I said, once we'd have some turnover or something, that's when the game was going to get out of hand and, uh, Dallas would run away with it. But I was surprised that at least up until halftime, it seemed like we had a chance to be in this game. And I know that's going to be some people are already giving me some shit for this, but I think at the very beginning of this game, the first half of this game, uh, and also as part of the third quarter, uh, we had a chance to be in this game or even be taking the lead. Uh, during the middle of this game, uh, both teams, both offenses weren't scoring. It was just kind of three and out, three and out, three and out. And if we start even kicking field goals there, I feel like we could have had a chance to even be close to tying the game or even uh, being in the lead. Now, I'm not sitting here trying to say that we would have beaten uh, the Cowboys, but at least we, we don't know what would have happened if we would, would have put some pressure on them. But today we got to see what our offense and Sam Howell looked like versus a top, was a 10 defense. Um, and uh, Sam Howell, I thought he tried hard today. Uh, he just didn't have too much help. Uh, Brian Robinson wanted to run the ball, just was nowhere to go. He had a few good runs. Um, you know, in in my opinion, at the beginning of the game, there was somewhere near the uh, in the first half, there was a fumble that Dallas had, and uh, a receiver for them out of the screen, out of the picture, comes running up and jumps on the ball and and recovers it. Our players are standing around, not jumping on the ball. Right then and there, I knew that's that's the difference between a winning team and a losing team. Uh, they wanted it. They they were playing heads up football. They're better than us. It is what it is. We all kind of seen this coming. Now, I was a little surprised that in the first half, uh, you know, we were kind of competitive. And obviously, we know our defense sucks, and they did suck today. But you could tell after the third time that we went for it, on like fourth and one and didn't get it, that's when the defense, that's when the second half, uh, in the second half, that's when the, the Cowboys started going up and scoring and running the score up like we thought they would uh, initially. All I'm trying to say is I thought we had a chance early in this game to be competitive and uh the offense just was stalling and and you know hey credit to the, to the cowboys uh they're obviously a pretty good team and uh yeah it is what it is man um <clears throat> just not gonna get too uh too upset over this you know it sucks i'm hoping that most of the people who watched the first half of the game and thought hey you know it is you know the this is what we expected the commanders to be losing but hey it's still is somewhat of a game and then they went and started to eat around seven o'clock ish and uh, weren't paying attention to the TV screen when uh, we were throwing pick sixes to uh, yet again, we're a part of history. Uh, Ron Rivera and his teams are a part of history for the wrong reasons. Uh, this guy, I don't even remember who it was on the, on the Cowboys. I was at that time. I was ready to check out. I was just talking to the people in the discord. Um, I forget who it is. I should know. Uh, shame on me for not knowing who it is, but he made history today for uh, having five pick sixes in a season. That's a record. And of course, now Sam Howell and the Commanders and Ron Rivera were going to be tied to that. Uh, just breaking breaking records, you know, just in the wrong way, being a part of history in the wrong way. Um, now, in the Discord today, we had a huge conversation about um, should we fire Ron Rivera? And, you know, I've been, I wanted Ron Rivera gone for a really long time, for years now. Um, but I've been sitting here thinking about it over and over and over again, and I do see both sides of it. I, if it was up to me, uh, last week, Ron would have been gone. He wouldn't even been able to do his post uh, game presser. I would have been like, we're tired of hearing from you. You're done. That's it. But, uh, now kind of seeing what the, uh, ownership is doing. I think, uh, I under kind of understand where they're coming from. Um, they are looking for a new coach right and uh if you're sitting here telling your your new coach uh, candidates uh we're not going to always honor your your contract like we're going to pay you but we might fire you and make you look bad or whatever that might rub some people the wrong way and uh, obviously our history uh we have a history of kind of doing that so 
I see I see it both ways. Uh, Ron Rivera is terrible. Uh, should, deserves to be fired. Everyone knows that. But if you fire the guy uh, at Thanksgiving, uh, whatever it is, you know, during the season, doesn't look good for uh, our potential new coaches because they're going to think, oh, even though I'm signing this contract, I might get fired and made uh, made a uh, fool of uh, in front of everyone, even though maybe they are a fool, uh, whether they deserve it or not. It really doesn't matter. It really might uh, limit some of our potential candidates. Um, Terry McLaurin had a few catches in this game. Still not enough. We were, yet again, in the Discord, we're sitting here talking about uh, Scott Turner. And, and we, <laughs> my cat's going, <laughs> about to go crazy over there. <laughs> uh, but uh, th there she goes. Uh, but uh, so in the Discord, we were talking about Scott Turner. And we had to come to the realization that Scott Turner, you might not want to hear this, but you have to understand it. Scott Turner is better than Eric Bieniemy at this moment in time. And the reason, the one sole reason why he gave, he found ways to get Terry McLaurin the football, and it paid off with wins, giving the best player on the field, on the offense, the ball, schemed up ways to get him the ball. Now, I think Eric Bieniemy does some good stuff, and and not just that, we were sitting here saying, uh, you know, Eric Bieniemy could get better next year, but the thing is, he's been in the league how long? Like, how, like really, how much, you know? He hasn't. This is his first time being the actual offensive coordinator and calling the plays. But he's been around for how long? Like how much better can it get next year? So everyone, you know, you know how it is. The whole fan base is on the fence about this or that. We're just not a collective as a group right now. Um, I thought Sam played. I, I thought Sam tried today, but I think people are have to wake up to some of the limitations too. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, could it get better? Yeah, of course. And you know, he's on a rookie deal, so obviously he'll be here. Uh, but all the all the other stuff's gonna be looming. Uh, my cat. All the stuff's gonna be looming, you know. Uh, and people are sitting here talking. To, we're gonna have a high draft pick. You know, should we? If we could get, if if our new GM really likes a new uh, quarterback in in this year's draft. Do we do we fire the trigger and just go get another quarterback too? And then if Sam Howell is better than him, he beats him out uh, in in training camp, whatever. We need to we need to find a quarterback. I think we all know that Sam Howell's good, but is he is he the guy? Can he get even that much better? In my opinion, uh, you know, obviously he's going to be here. He's on a rookie deal, but uh, this this is a story for another day. Uh, you know, I don't want to get too heated here in this video. There's a lot of stuff for us to sit here and go around and debate or this or that but it's thanksgiving i don't want this video to be too long i just want to come up here uh celebrate with you guys um the, the game the game was <laughs> it was a little bit more respectable than i think i at least i thought i thought we were going to be uh i thought they're going to be up 21 nothing or something uh in the first half and yet again i think uh we saw how bad the defense was but you saw like how much more they scored in the second half after we went for it on like fourth. We went for it on like fourth and one, uh, third and one, and fourth and one. How many times? At least three times we went for it on the fourth down and didn't get it. How is that possible? What is Eric Bieniemy doing? What is Sam Howell doing? Uh, what is the offense doing? Um, and also at the in the beginning of the game, uh, it was fourth and two, and we were on the Cowboys side, and we didn't go for it. We're four and seven now. Four and eight. Like why? What? What do we have to lose? We're, we're, we're here in someone else's house on Thanksgiving. How about we try? How about we do whatever it freaking takes to win? And yes, and now it's, then there's going to be people who are saying, oh, but we went for it on, on fourth and one or whatever later on, and we didn't get it. Well, then you look at the play calls, and you look at Eric Bieniemy and you look at the execution, you look at Sam Howe, you look at the receivers, whatever it is, look at the blocking. The blocking was terrible today. Uh, I thought Ron, I thought, uh, I thought Robinson tried to run hard. He had some good runs, but you could tell he was getting the ball and there's already people in the backfield and shit. Uh, so it is what it is. Uh, we, we kind of expected this, you know, there's no, there's no, there's no crazy stuff here that happened. That's shocking or, you know what I mean? But um, I'll just leave it at that. Let me know what you guys think about the game. Uh, now we have a longer week. Do you think Ron Rivera is going to get fired? Uh, do you think Eric Bieniemy will be here next year? Uh, do you think, uh, we'll get into the quarterback stuff another time. Like I said, I don't want to get too heated here in this video. Uh, there's a lot to talk about, but, uh, yeah, just thanks. Uh, happy Thanksgiving guys, uh, to you and your family. Uh, shout out to everyone in the discord that was there talking today, making the game that much easier to process and watch, uh, because we have to go through this shit show together, but, uh, happy holidays to you guys. 
and peace.